Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex and let's see what we have here. Jill Biden has praised Harry as they join forces for the Wounded Warrior Games, it says here. The US First Lady and the Duke of Sussex came together virtually to mark the Games, having first got to know each other from attending the first ever Invictus Games back in 2014, an international sporting event for injured, sick and wounded servicemen and women. It comes after Prince Harry was accused of spending too much damn time with Jill by her husband, Joe Biden. And ever since then, their unlikely friendship has grown, with the pair continuing to support the wounded, but the Invictus Games in 2020 was cancelled, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle confirmed their first ever Netflix project would be focused on the Games. Dr. Biden told Harry, it's hard to believe it's been seven years since the first Invictus Games in London. She then went on to praise his contribution, telling him, you live by a simple principle, served together, recovered together. It's a philosophy, not limited by the flag you wear. Your brothers and sisters in arms are connected by something so much deeper than the borders that separate us. Prince Harry expressed his gratitude to Dr. Biden for all her support over the years. He said, thank you for your service and your continued support over all these years. It's been fantastic to see you in action in various parts of the world, giving everything that you've got to so many people, not just those who wear the uniform, but to the families as well. A lot of them wouldn't be here without you. So thank you, he added. Prince Harry also thanked the injured servicemen and women for inspiring him to create the Invictus Games. I will never forget that first visit I had to the Warrior Games, which inspired me to create the Invictus Games, he said. The Invictus Games never would have been created had I not been inspired by every single one of you and your companions and the families for everything that you give to the service of this country. And so this has given rise to the Meghan wanting to become president rumor mill. Meghan moves Prince Harry to join First Lady Dr. Biden tonight for Warrior Games amid rumors Meghan Markle could run for president. And then we have this one here. Prince Harry must avoid criticizing President Biden if he uses his birthday tomorrow to speak about Afghanistan refugee crisis again, because it could harm Meghan's political ambitions, royal expert warns. Yes, it's one of those royal experts again. I don't personally think we will be seeing Joe Biden as president for much longer, and he will probably step down at some point, so I don't think it really matters. Nevertheless, no one should be careful about what words they say. They should just stick to the truth, or at least what they believe to be their truth. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams is predicting that Harry will use his 37th birthday tomorrow to highlight a charitable initiative. And he said that it's reasonable to assume that he could choose to focus on the refugee crisis in Afghanistan adding that he will have to be careful not to say anything critical of President Biden. I get that he won't, but why can't he if he wants to? Oh, I get it, because he claims this may hurt Meghan's wishes of getting into politics at some point. This is what he is suggesting. He's also suggesting that people like Harry should not say what they think and avoid rocking the boat if they are interested into getting into politics. It says here, Richard Fitzwilliams has advised Harry to be careful what he says amid the growing political tensions following the US withdrawal from Afghanistan. It's a big crisis and it would be a reasonable assumption that any birthday initiative might be linked to Afghanistan and the refugee crisis, he said. Harry and Meghan seem to see their future in the US and Harry will have to watch what he says about US domestic matters, especially as it's been speculated that Meghan is eyeing up a future in politics. It comes after Harry and First Lady Jill Biden last night praised each other's supports for wounded veterans 
during a 30 minute virtual event to celebrate warrior games, warrior athletes, their families and caregivers. Last month, the couple spoke about the Afghanistan crisis in which they said they were speechless and feeling the many layers of pain. Yet, I don't profess to having an inkling whether or not Megan is interested in getting into politics. Sometimes, you know, you see the way she presents herself in recent speeches, you get the vibe that maybe she is interested, but at other times, maybe not. I hope not. I, for one, have no time for politics at this moment. It seems to be a very fake place, even more so nowadays than in the past. And if one does acquire a position of power, it is only for a temporary amount of time. I feel that they together would have a much longer lasting influence and have more power over that influence if they kept out of politics. So I hope Morgan keeps away from it and continues to highlight and empower meaningful causes rather than trying to get into politics and left and right dynamics and all of that. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what your opinion is in the comments. Thank you for listening. See you next time.